Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 7 tutorials. So guys in this video series we are going to discuss about how can we download and install Laravel on our local machine. Basically to install Laravel we are going to need XAMPP which is an open source web server solution. Basically it is going to create a development environment for us on our local machine. The second thing we need is Composer and it is a dependency manager. Let's say if you want to upgrade your Laravel or PHP or let's say if you want to include any package uh, in your Laravel web application, you can simply do that with the help of one to two commands and with the help of Composer. Basically, you just have to type the command and Composer is going to take the responsibility of installing and downloading the packages for you and the third would be git bash basically we are going to install laravel with the help of git bash and let's say we are going to run our laravel web applications using git bash and we are going to create our tables in laravel with the help of git bash and we will talk about git bash in great detail in later videos okay and the last step would be setting up Laravel globally on our local machine. So let's start with XAMPP and I will move to Google right here. And let's type XAMPP. Okay. And here we have first link. I will just open it. Basically, we can install XAMPP for Linux, Mac OS and Windows. In this case, I'm using Windows. So I will just click XAMPP for Windows and your download will begin. And in this case, I have already downloaded XAMPP, so I will just cancel this download process and I will move to download folder right here. You can see I have XAMPP. And I will just double click and it will start. And it is going to take uh, maybe five to 10 seconds. I don't know why, but it is going to do. Let's wait and now you can see it is started and this is a warning because I have antivirus running a warning and it just says don't install XAMPP in your C program files etc. Okay. And let's say next and I want all the services next C XAMPP looks good. Next language is English next and okay. It is going to open a web page and let's say next. Okay, so now it is going to take some time and I will just pause the video and once it is done, I will be back. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, so once it is done, we will, I will just click, do you want to start control panel because I want to and let's say finish. Now we will be able to see a control panel that is related to them right here and we need to start the services of Apache and MySQL. I will just say start and start right here. Okay, so Apache just stopped. Maybe uh, the reason is antivirus. Let's try it out. I will just block this antivirus for one hour. Apache control disable for one hour. Okay, now let's try it again. Okay, so maybe the port is already in use. So what we can do is I will move to config and Apache HTTPD dot config. I will just open it and I will search for port 80 control F. Let's say 80. And right here we have listen to port 80 right here. I will change it to 8000. You can say let's say 8000. And now I will search for server name let's find it out okay so we have server name right here and i will change it to localhost 8000 that's it let's save it once it is saved i will try it again let's start our apache and now you can see it is up and running so let's try it out if xamp is successfully installed or not what i'm going to do is type localhost colon 8000 the port we just defined and now you will be able to see XAMPP if you have successfully installed XAMPP you will be able to see this page right here okay you don't need to change the port uh, I was having the issue because I have multiple software in my 
PC and maybe some other software was using the same port which was required for SAMP. So that uh, in this case, basically in my case, this was the reason and you don't need to change the port if you are not having any sort of issue. Okay, so the second step is to install, basically download and install the composer. Now I will search for composer, composer, that's it. Right here, first link and you can see it is a dependency manager for PHP. I will click download and here you can download. Basically, we have a download link right here. Download and run composer setup.exe. I will just click it and it will start my composer downloading process and in my case i will just cancel it because i have already installed composer right here so once composer is download you have downloaded composer successfully what you can do is simply run it okay install for all user okay developer develop developer mode sorry guys and see composer nope okay it's okay it's fine now uh, if you are unable to see anything right here basically in this case we have to locate the php.exe file if you can't see anything right here what you can do is you can browse and let's move to this pc from here we will go to c and xamp and in xamp i will move to php right here and I will just scroll down right here. You can see PHP. Basically, it is an PHP.exe file. So I will just open it right here. It is the same link. So I will just click next and it is going to download the composer for us. Basically, install. Install and it will take few minutes depending upon your PC. So I will just pause the video once it is done basically it is done sorry guys okay i will just click finish and let's type basically let's check if we have composer or not the way to check composer is let's run our cmd and right here i will type composer that's it okay so if you are able to see this all the configuration and if you are able to see this composer right here you have successfully installed the composer if you are unable uh, to see any of these basically there was some sort of issue try to resolve it on your own or you can tell me i will help you so this was it from this video in the next video we are going to see how can we install download and install git bash and then we are going to move to laravel so i hope you guys like the video if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care